In this video, we're going to introduce a new set of rules, the log rules, with which we can simplify expressions, rewrite equations, and transform data. The log laws or log rules essentially help us to simplify and rearrange expressions. Uh, in this table is a bunch of those rules given to us, which we can use from now on. When we have the log of a product, for example, log to base A of X times Y, it's the same as log to base A of X plus log to base A of Y. So you can imagine using this uh, one way or the other to rewrite as an expression involving logs. There's a similar rule for a quotient and a difference. Another rule for the log of something raised to a power, the power can be brought out the front. A change of base rule to move us from different log bases, for example, the E base or the 10 base. The rule for the log of 1 says that regardless of the base, the log of 1 is always 0. The log of the base itself is always equal to 1. And the log of the base to a power is equal to n. Let's check out some examples. We're going to use the logarithm rules or properties or laws to simplify three, these three expressions. First of all, we have log base 3 of 9. What I can see here straight away is that I'm asking for the log to base 3 of 3 squared. 9 is 3 squared. So if I jump back to my rules up here, log base a of a to the n is n. Here I have log base 3 of 3 to the 2. So I can simply write that as 2. Next I have log base 3 of 1. The rules tell me that regardless of the base, the log of 1 is always going to be equal to 0. So I can simply apply that one straight away. Log base 3 of 1 is equal to 0. In C, we have log base 6 of 6 itself. Again, from our rules, the log of the base is always equal to 1. So there we go. The next example, we're going to write these expressions as single logarithms. At the moment, they're sum of the logarithms and a sum and difference of two, uh, sorry, three logarithms. So in A, we're asked to combine two logs with base 7. That's important, first of all, that they have the same base. And they're combined by addition. Back in the rules, we saw that logs with the same base combined by addition can be rewritten as the log of a product. So log base 7 of 5 plus log base 7 of x is equal to log base 7 of 5x, the product. In B, we have a sum and a difference. Log base 4 of x plus 2 log base 4 of y, take away log base 4 of z. Importantly, again, all bases are the same. Here, they're 4. First thing I can do is address this term, 2 multiplied by the log. I need to get that 2 out of the way. So I'm going to use the rule here, where we have a number times a log, to bring it in as a power. So I'll have log base 4 of x left alone. 2 log base 4 of y becomes log base 4 of y squared. And again, we leave the log base 4 of z. Now I can combine all of these. The sum of these two logs I'll write as the log of y squared times x. Then, taking away the log, I can change to dividing by z inside the same log. So we have log base 4 of x, y squared, all over z. Let's have a look at an example which involves an equation. I'm going to use the log laws to solve this equation for y. You can see that y is stuck there inside my log base 10. On the right hand side, I've got the sum of two logs and also a constant multiplied by that log. Let's see what we can do here. Let's just write it down for clarity. Log base 10 of y is log base 10 of 5 plus 2 log base 10 of x. First of all, I know that I can rewrite this as the log base 10 of x squared. So I have log base 10 of 5 plus log base 10 of x squared. Still the same left hand side. Now I can combine the logs on the right to become the log of a product. Again with the same base 10 log. We have 5x squared then. Now on the left I have log base 10 of y 
and on the right log base 10 of 5x squared. Now I can either simply read off that y is equal to 5x squared, or if you like, apply the inverse uh, function, which is 10 raised to the power. So 10 raised to the power of log base 10 of y will be simply y. And on the right hand side, 10 to the log base 10 of 5x squared is 5x squared. So there we have our solution for the variable y. Just to finish off, uh, a little on evaluating common and natural logarithms. The most commonly used bases for logarithms that you'll find are base 10, the common logarithm, and e, 2.718, and so on, a number that goes on forever like pi. Now on your calculators, you'll see these shown as log, L-O-G, and L-N for natural log, uh, respectively, usually anyway. Sometimes you'll also see L-N or log base E written as log base E. So it's important to make sure that you're using the correct buttons on your calculators, log or natural log, when you're asked to evaluate these things. Another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes we're asked to find logs of a different base. When that's the case, you apply the change of base rule and then evaluate in terms of a natural log or a common based logarithm. So in this video, we've seen some new rules for simplifying expressions and solving equations, namely the log rules simplified some expressions in our examples and used the log rules to express equations in different ways.